Good morning, readers. I have a very sweet book to start your day or end your day. It's starting my day today. It's starting my whole week, starting my Monday with a sweet book called Mary Had a Little Plan. And it is by Tammy Saar. And I grabbed it at the library. I think this lamp is going to be in my way a little bit, but I'll make it work. Mary Had a Little Plan. Mary had a little plan that sprouted on the spot. It all began the day she passed a drab, abandoned lot. A stretch of mess, a marked up wall. The ground was wild with weeds. Then Mary took a look around. I know what this place needs. Hmm, what do you think it needs? Look at her head, birds on her head. A cleanup and an overhaul, a garden path or two. The right design will be divine. There's lots that I can do. She has lots of ideas. So Mary wheeled in cans of paint and trimmings for the trees. She studied every fabric choice. Oh, the possibilities. Lots of color. She sent requests to local shops for flowers, tools, and wood, and trucks soon barreled down the road to help the neighborhood. Here they come with all their supplies. Then Mary gathered bags of trash. It took her half the day. The sight of so much left to do consumed her with dismay. Oh, she's feeling a little overwhelmed, maybe. Oh, what a mess, I must confess, I'm really in a bind. But when a spider sat down beside her, something came to mind. A spider sat beside her. Hmm, that makes me think of my, another character named Miss Muffet. So Mary asked her friends for help. They didn't hesitate. Hooray, said Mary, follow me, it's time to renovate. Something just caught my eye outside the window. Something skittered by. Soon, Bo Peep's sheep went in knee deep. They chomped the weeds away. A cleanup crew knew what to do to fix this disarray. Ooh, it might go better now that there's so many people helping. The flower beds were organized in neat and tidy rows while Jack and Jill went up the hill and watered with the hose. There they go, Jack and Jill up the hill. I hope they don't fall down. Miss Muffet crafted cozy seats as others worked the wall. Another built in a nook for books and they were free for all. With twinkling lights strung overhead and grass beneath her feet, sweet Mary added one more thing to make the scene complete. It says, all are welcome. I love the idea of giving away books. Some of you know that I love to give away books. Then Mary gathered with her friends. She marveled at the view. This little lot was quite the spot. It showed what love can do. Look at this beautiful illustration. I love it. I think that's the end. I'd love to hear more. Oh, I'm noticing that this author has another book called Mary Had a Little Glam. Oh, glamorous. I'll have to look for that one at the library, but I hope you enjoyed Mary Had a Little Plan. I enjoyed it. I think it was lovely. A lovely way to start my day reading to you. I wonder if my new furry stuffy friend Fred was listening to that story. I hope he was because it was lovely to meet him the other day. And I hope you and all of your friends enjoyed the story and have a great day. Goodbye, readers.